Hi guys, this is just a quick video in order to help out some people who aren't as computer inclined as your average Joe internet. If you want to skip right ahead to the information, I'll put the timestamp you need in the description below. I'm making this video for two reasons. The first, we've all seen pretty scary stuff coming from governments, specifically European governments, even more specifically, the British government. But whether it's websites being blocked because they can't or won't comply with the EU's cookie policy, or whether it's Theresa May, who looks suspiciously like a female Senator Palpatine from Star Wars being on the warpath over pornography, because, as we all know, making pornography illegal will only raise the quality of life for porn stars and will in no way drive it underground and lead to serious exploitation. And the second reason is, when this is mentioned online, people simply say, download a VPN. Sage advice indeed for those that know how. But if you don't know what a VPN is, you could be left understandably confused. So I'm going to show you what I think is the easiest VPN to get started with, and also it's free. It's worth noting that because it's free, it's not the best piece of software out there you can get. There are better ones that you can pay for and videos about how to use them. But hopefully this will help those who don't want to pay or can't pay, and it's really easy to use. First thing you'll want to do is download the browser Opera. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can download it. I scanned this specific download myself to make extra doubly sure it's completely safe, and it is. Once you've downloaded it and installed it, which shouldn't take any longer than a minute, you'll see this page when you launch the browser. You'll want to click the circle in the top left corner. Click Settings on the drop-down list. Scroll down the Options page to the bottom, and then click on Advanced Options. Scroll further still until you see VPN. Click the switch to enable VPN and a blue badge will appear in the address bar. When you click it, you can change where your computer appears to be. As I've said before, it's a very basic, free VPN with not too many options, but it's reliable. Now to compare trying to access the website Dallas News, which is unavailable in the EU. This is it on a regular browser. And here is the same address with VPN enabled. As you can see, I can navigate the site, no problem. There are some websites, the Chicago Tribune for example, where the VPN will not work. They install tracking cookies on your computer with flagrant disregard to EU laws and prevent you from connecting like the sneaky internet ninja you're training to be. To which all I have to say is, kudos to Chicago. This simple VPN could save you time and potentially money in future if the governments push on with their plans to introduce bans on certain internet materials. Unless, of course, you have your government-approved pass, which, knowing the government as I do, they'll likely put a hefty price tag on. I hope this information somehow helps you in the future, and as always, thank you for your time.